Frontier American English with this guy. This is English teacher challenge number 10. No editing here. So whatever happens, happens. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen, but the plan is we are going to visit a convenience store here in the United States, but it's not like most convenience stores. It's actually a Jamaican convenience store. And then after, we are going to eat some Jamaican food right on that table. I've already pre-ordered my meal, pre-ordered. So before I went on camera, I ordered my meal. It's ready. We'll come back out here and eat it. But before we do that, we're gonna visit Caribbean Life Grocery and Gift Shop. And like I said, Sophia is the owner. And like I said, she is originally from Jamaica. So maybe if you're watching this outside of the United States and you wanna come here one day, people do it all the time. And uh, this store is run by someone not originally from the United States. My food is right over here. Let's take a look at my food. It's right here, but uh, we'll come back and eat that. And there's a little bit of traffic here too. Hey, right next to the gift shop is a weed dispensary. If you've seen the English lesson I did at a farm stand, right next to that farm stand was a weed dispensary. So they sell marijuana there. But we're not gonna go in there. I didn't ask them. Let's go somewhere where it's a little quieter. So like I said, Sophia said that I could film in here as long as I didn't get her on camera and as long as I didn't get any customers. So let's look over here and we can talk about some different hats that they have. We might call that a beanie or a wool hat or maybe a winter hat. And this would probably just call a regular hat. Ooh, she shut the door. Thank you, Sophia. She shut the door so there'd be less noise. This might be a hat or a cap. And we might just call this hot sauce. So it's a condiment. A condiment, that's the name for things like ketchup, mustard, relish. Hot sauce would be a condiment and there is a whole shelf full. These are shelves. Notice I say shelf, it ends with an F, but when it's more than one shelf, comes like a, a V at the end. Shelves, shelves, shelf. There are a lot of shelves there. Now there is a shelf full of what looks like marinade. Marinade is what we call things that take a little longer. They will season your food but you often have to soak that food, it's usually meat, for a long period of time for it to get all of that flavor. Hot sauce, you put on, gets the flavor. Marinade, takes a little longer. Right, we would call this uh, shelves of bread. I got dropped a hot coffee all over I was like, what's wrong here? I was like, I had tendonitis, like, but usually it had it bothers me, but not so much because I'm not using it repetitively. And those are coolers. Oh, I've talked about coolers before, but it literally makes the stuff inside them cool. And some more more coolers back here. 
I don't think it there. I don't think it's a freezer. A cooler is like a refrigerator, but they actually do have freezers here too. And we might call that a freezer full of fish. Lots of F's there. Freezer full of fish. And I would say this is mostly a shelf full of seasonings. Seasonings. Salt and pepper, probably the two most common seasonings. Lots of coffee right there. And on this side of the store, we might call these canned goods. Canned goods, you might have beans here. Lots and lots of beans. Exactly what this is but it says mega punch and it says it will boost my manhood I need to get this right I, I need some more manhood make me feel a little more manly I'll probably try that out at home I also saw a drink over here that I wanted <clears throat> cooler door a little hard I didn't mean to but this is a uh, Malta India I thought it was from India Sophia said no it's uh, probably from the Dominican Republic definitely not from India but with my Jamaican meal outside I need something to wash it down with so we need a drink we'll take this We'll take this to boost our manhood and then we'll go over and pay. Well, they also have some chocolate over here too. Maybe I'll get some chocolate for dessert too. Should I put it over in this little no, box? Oh, okay. And we'll, we'll get some chocolate too. wallet it's hard to do this with one hand what did you get outside um i got the jerk chicken Bone in or boneless 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 and sophia said jerk is always spicy always spicy lots of heat all right let me get my money out here all right thank you I forgot to mention Rudy. Rudy is from Haiti. They have a hat over here from. has the Haitian flag. Oh, it's okay. Just keep it. I'll just take the 10. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for letting me record too. Oh no. Do I need a bottle opener? Or is this a twist off? I think it's a twist off. Okay, we'll find out. <laughs> Thank you. We can talk about uh, twist off. Thank you. Yeah, so no editing here. My um, editing software is not working. So this is all pretty much 
live. So let's talk about um, a twist off cap. It's kind of exactly what it sounds like. A twist off, it's so dark here. Um, if, if I don't need a bottle opener, I can open this by twisting it. We'll soon, we'll soon find out if this is a twist off. Just set the camera down here. So if this is a twist off, I can just turn it. Did you hear? It is a twist off. It's a twist off cap. If it's not, I would need a bottle opener. And a lot of times in the United States, it says twist off, but my eyes, as I get older, they might be getting so bad that I couldn't see it. All right, do you, leave in the comments uh, if you have this in your country. This is not very popular in the United States, but if you go to a specialty store, like a Jamaican grocery store, you could probably find it. It's different. I was thinking it might taste like Coca-Cola. No. No, it's more, um, well, it says Malta. It has a malt flavoring to me. Um, but we did, we got this um, dessert right here. Vanilla Thrilla. Vanilla Thrilla. And then I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll have to make a Instagram short or something about this mega punch. But the, uh, the manhood, I think it'll help me. Let's go get our food. I forgot to mention also, this is a food truck. So right on the side of the road, you just go right up to the window and order your food from a food truck. come back here and eat a few bites. This whole meal was about $14. They gave me some plastic ware. So we have our plastic spoon, fork and knife, and a little napkin in the back, all in a, a plastic wrapper. Probably not good for the environment, but let's see what we have here. All right, looks like we got some rice and beans, maybe some vegetables on the side, and that is boneless jerk chicken. I could have gotten bone-in chicken. That means it would have bones, or I got the, the boneless. I figured for the camera, it would be a little less messy if I got boneless chicken. Although, this might be a little messy. So let's, uh, let's open up our plastic ware. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in. There's a English phrasal verb for you there. Dig in when you're going to eat something. Let's try this rice and beans first. Come on. So good, it's so good. I'm not sure about these veggies here. It looks like, almost like coleslaw, we might call in English, but there isn't mayonnaise on this. So m most of the time, coleslaw has a lot of mayonnaise. This just looks like maybe some um, sliced cabbage and carrot. Tastes a little like coleslaw though, without the mayonnaise. Probably healthier coleslaw. All right, let's try this chicken. Yeah. Big pieces, $14. I will leave a link in the description for the Caribbean Life grocery and gift shop, and then Jeff's Jamaican, Jeff's Jamaican cuisine, the food truck here. Let's, uh, 
it's not the easiest to cut with plastic and I don't want to take a big bite. That might be embarrassing on camera. Let's take a, a nice little bite and then when I get home, I'll try this and uh, I'll have more manhood and then I can take bigger bites of chicken. How about that? All right, let's try this. It smells, hang on. It smells so good and they are actually cooking it right over here. So there's definitely a wooden fence here, but just uh, just over the fence, I bet they have a barbecue here. You can almost see the smoke. Oh, it's, it smells so good around here. So I bet this chicken is gonna be amazing. Let's do it here. Mm. Take a little drink here. Of our Malta India. All right, this chicken. I would call this fall off the bone chicken. So when something is cooked slowly, like all day long, and it like literally will fall off the bone, that's what we call it in English, fall off the bone tender. You might hear fall off the bone tender. And that is exactly what this is. Now I don't live that far. I live in just the next town over from here two towns over like I have to I could pass by this way on my way home from work I've never had this before but I guarantee this will not be the last time I have this another little bite so good one of the best best meals I've had in a long time if you like this type of English lesson where I'm just walking around check out the one I made at the bakery not too far from here just down the street a little ways all right how do i shut this camera off thanks so much for watching